Got it? Yep. Sweet. What do you usually shoot? Uh, 28, 28 and a half. Okay. Black gold dual track, so really only pay attention to your top 10. Okay. And then top 10, top pointer. Yep. That'll be all your yardages. All right. So. Sweet. Yeah, man. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah man. I'm Wes. Yeah. Yeah. Alan. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And then this Alyssa. is Alyssa. Alan. Nice to meet you. Sarah. Yeah. Alan. And then this is my brother, Ethan. He's going to be fun. What up, dude? So. How are you doing? Good. Guys, we're out here at Total Archery Challenge, Utah. We're going up to shoot. Uh, just a short course today. We're gonna try to get in and out here pretty quick because we got people who got to get on a flight. But we've got Alan today. We just met him yesterday. He's yep. a follower of the channel. So yep. uh, he said he was down here for work, but he didn't have a bow. So I had a spare bow in the room. I got my BTM. So he went and got some arrows made up. He's gonna shoot arrows out made up. Bought a brand new button just to shoot with him. So heck yeah, dude. I love it. So he's gonna be shooting my BTM on the course today. We'll see, uh, we'll see how he does. It's just gonna be fun. We're just gonna be flinging arrows. Today's the day to break arrows, last day. So anyway, we're heading up the tram. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> yep. Cut to 26 inches. As far as I know, maybe check it against one of yours. Yeah, you going to pull one of those out of mine. Yeah, pretty close. They're gonna be close. I don't know, you could try shooting a couple, All see right. how they do. Maybe yeah. if they're four, so I know these are 450 exactly. Yeah, these were like 427. Okay, so you might shave like, we'll do some playing with it. Otherwise we can put those 25s on it. Right. And it'll, it'll, get, it'll get it closer Close for enough sure. for me. Yeah. All right, we got target number one. We're shooting the elk. Well, we're shooting the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation course. It's 15 targets and they should all be elk targets. I heard we had about 10 big elk targets and five small elk targets. So our first one right out the gate, 75.1. Well, it is blowing down there. Look at that. Yeah. You might want to hold like, you may want to yeah. hold left lung. Tip it to it. Okay. Yeah, actually, um, actually uh, no, I'm in South Jordan. I'm working at the Boeing plant in West Jordan. Are you a tipper or a holder? Okay. A what? Are you a tipper or a holder? I'm a holder. Yeah. I'm a holder. Uh, How about you? Michigan. So I shot the tack there. Same. Tipper or yeah. holder? Explain that to the people who don't know. So if you've got a wind, your choices are you can either hold to the left side of where you're sh where you want your shot to be. Right. If you have okay. a, if you have a right yeah. wind. If you got a yeah. So if I if I've got a wind that's going to the right, then I'm going to hold left of the target, and hopefully the arrow is going to yeah. come oh, in like this. The other option would be holding on the target and then tipping your upper cam to, to into the wind a little bit. It's called canting your bow. Canting your your upper uh, cam is going to cause the arrow to move that direction. So, so the arrow falls right. whatever direction the cam is. That's facing. right. So, so if I was canting my upper cam into the wind, then it would be fighting the wind as it was going, and then kind of basically the same effect as holding left. So you're a holder, not a canter. I'm a holder, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for today's video. Appreciate you guys watching. We're about 15 minutes in, so got to cut it here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I held way too far. I pr hit pretty much where I was holding. Really? First shot of the day, strong chest. What did I say? 75? Strong shots. Yeah, go like 74, 73. Money. That's you right out the that gate. Boy. <laughs> no warm up. Two inches too short. <laughs> there you got her. Let Hit it. Oh, nice. Hit All it. Right, well, Let's maybe, go. <laughs> maybe we do put it at. Is it, it was low, start, right? Yeah, let's just start shooting it at, at what the range is. All right. Maybe they'll work out. Starting out with a five. You happy about that? Am I happy you got a five? Yeah. Because we work real hard at the chocolate factory. <laughs> kind of. Nice shot. Did you get him? That is how you pump an elk, bro. Right. Heck yeah. You 12 her? Real close? Oh, yeah, I was way low. Both of us real yeah, close. Maybe just hold, hold That's awesome yardage. shooting, Wes. See what's happening. That's a strong shot to start the day. 10, 10, 5. 10, 10, 5. So we've been keeping score. I don't know if you want to 
get involved in this, but if you beat us with a bow that you've never shot, <laughs> That'd be wicked. We're gonna leave it out of the video. <laughs> no, that's going in for sure. If you want to add him into it, if you want to shoot for score, sure, why not? Got Might it. as well see where it goes. Great first shot, Wes. Thank Great you, buddy. First shot. Thank you, buddy. You too. I want to see all those. You too. Hey, all dead. It's all about for me today. It's all about keeping that chest big, coming through the shot instead of collapsing and letting off weak. Weak shots are no good. Nope. 79. And then if you want to, yeah. sorry, I was going to say, if you want to, this here is technically your wrist strap. Okay. There you go. Pump. Nice shot, shot, brother. Yeah, just shoot regular yeah. yardage. Yeah. They seem to be built out somewhat close. <laughs> Dude, good shot with a bow that's not yours and way too short. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm glad that's working for you. 79. Great shot. Thank you. And it's one of those things I'm like, oh dude, am I dropping the wood? Good shot. Nice. Good shot. Great shot. Just the right bit. Ethan eight, Joel ten, Wes ten, oh. Alan ten, uh, eight. Just roll with the tape. Yeah. Seems to be working. Seventy one with the cut. You pretty much just hold right on that leaf. Yep. You have to just get the arrow over it. It'll drop in. Good shot. Thank you. Good shot. Nice shot. Smoking it, dude. Nice shot, dude. Heck yeah. 71. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I love it when someone can just pick someone else's bow up and shoot. That just shows you know how to shoot Joel, a bow. We haven't shot each other's bow yet. We need to. Yeah, you with your 30 some inch drawing. I say you, I, I say you guys both do it for score, too. We do it every year. Yeah. 71.4. Nice shot. Yeah. Right about where either me or Ethan's at. This is awesome. Oh, good shot, Joel. Thank you. Nice. Alan, 8. Ethan, 8. Joel, 10. West 10. West 10. Yep. Yeah. Good job. My mom sure so always told me not to yeah. take candy from strangers, so. Your mom should have told you when someone offers you a mint, you never refuse. Are you saying my breath is bad? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. 82. Dude, I'm loving these shots. This like, is like the just, best course already. <laughs> yeah, big elk targets. I'm waiting for the minis, but I'm also pumped that Alan's shooting my bow so well. Yeah, that's sick. I was like, man, I hope it I hope it works out for him. Like I want him to have a fun time shooting and stuff like that. And he's been smoking the last several targets. So bows on. Just line the peep up with the housing. Let her rip. What is Ethan's? What is Ethan's? Yeah, I think you could probably shoot my bow. You got it. <laughs> What a shot. shot. I think it had to been. Yeah. Yep. So proud. Man, what a shot. Nice. Call him out, Ethan. All right. Bottom can West, zero. No, it's a 12. It's a 12. Uh, Ethan, 10. Joel, 8. Allen, 5. Just a skosh under 50. Yeah. Low left. Low left. Don't put that in video. <laughs> Wes with another 12. Ethan, shot an 8. Joel. Shot an eight. 
Allen with a five. You guys are making it real difficult for me to win this day. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, you know what? That is good shooting. I'm just glad you're hitting them with that bow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did 12 it. Heck yeah. Good wife for buying him. Ethan, 10. Joel, 8. Wes, 10. Allen, 5. 47 yards? 47. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get a range, but... Between the trees. Trees are so chipped up. Yeah, they are. A little panic attack. Nice. <laughs> Out of three there. Oh, you're good. No, dude, you're, you're, you're good. Your arrow's good. Have, they have no yeah. in it's not a 12, though, is it? No. It's low of the 12, not, right? It's not, low of the 12. It's Scotchy. It's Scotchy. Scotchy low. low. That way I can scream. So I might go a 47.5. Nice. nice shot. Thanks. I shot 46 and a half. That's a 12. All right. Um, oh my. Oh. Ooh, that sounded clicky. Death trap. Nice. Joel 12, Ethan 10, Wes 5 with his first one, and then Alan 5. I'd just like to say Alan has been real close with all of his fives to the eight ring too. I know. Should I give him a 5.5? So 5.5 5. 5. 5 for Alan? Yeah, give him a 5.5. 5. 5. Nice. You look good shooting my bow. Yeah. You know that? <laughs> maybe That's, you might not get it back. <laughs> hey, maybe not. <laughs> All right, we got Ethan five, Alan ten, Wes eight, Joel twelve. Yeah. So we switched. Uh, we switched to him shooting Joel's arrows, and now he's shooting. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so Joel was trying to throw him off the trail. Yeah. I think. He was yeah. trying. He was worried. I was gonna outshoot him with his own bow. So. Uh, we have got an elk. At what range? Sixty-eight and a half. Sixty-eight and a half. I'm gonna have to trust you. Nice. So what's going on? So me and Joel like to trade bows at least for like a couple shots so before we go on our elk hunt or, or antelope hunt or whatever if one of our bows messes up we can still shoot the other guy's bow and we'll still be all right so we just want to check it see if we can do that so that's what i'm doing right now obviously he's his arms are shorter than mine so i'm gonna be kind of like what's the difference up. what do you shoot normally um 29 and a half is what that one is and I know his is at 27. Okay. So I'm gonna have to collapse down a little bit and, and Joel's gonna have to really overextend. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Look at how much bend is in his arm. <laughs> Good oh yeah, we can do it. Now look at the hysterical difference in my draw length. Ridiculous, dude. Nice. Off the face. I didn't even have it. I'm here, here just... dude. No anchor on the face at all. I'm shooting this one like this. <laughs> you look like you have a child's so bow. Relaxed. You're like playing with your son's bow. Like, Yay. I feel like you shoot mine better. <laughs> For yeah, I, I have, no, I have to nothing to anchor on. Like, this, this was the one you? I shot with I your think bow. So. <sighs> so where were your two shots that you guys traded? So those? this was my shot with Wes's. Pretty good. This was Wes's shot mine. with mine. High. Yeah. Both kill shots. Dead yep. elk. Good shot, Ethan. Appreciate it. Bedded bull. He looks to be about 55, 56. That's my guess. Yep. 63. That's why we use range finders. <laughs> right. 
right. Who that? Good elevation though. Yeah. Ethan 12. Joel 10. Alan 5. Ooh. Good shot, Wes. Yep. Good shot, Joel. Thanks, Joel. Hey. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> hey, you ain't missed a dang target with a bow I, that nope. ain't yours. <laughs> yeah, 82 pounds, inch too short draw length. Didn't even shoot it before the first target, so. That's so awesome, dude. <laughs> with a new release. With a brand new release. <laughs> so the mid-morning, mid we didn't see anything at all this morning, and as we're coming to this clearing, right on the other side, is about a 310 bull, looks like. Okay. Might be closer to 280, but Can that one, like, track good bull. Somebody? We're gonna take it no, public land, so. 84 Circle yards. And he's you know, got us pinned down, like the but he's kind of looking uphill yeah. like at his cows. Yeah, but that one doesn't know. Smoked him. <sighs> Smoked him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Good shooting. Oh my gosh. You guys Actually, both have just pump shots in right it. Nice. Oh, dude, that bull's deader than a doornail. Nice. All right, we got target number 14, Army F. We've got a mini elk, 34 and a half through the trees. Was that the big elk? Yeah. Yeah. And then Ethan West 12s, me and Alan 10 on this. Good shooting, everybody. Yeah, that was awesome. Absolutely shooting. pounded that thing. Last right. target, number 15. There's a long walk to this last one. A mini elk up here behind or in front of a boulder, 50 yards, 49 and a half yards. Last one's gonna be a 12 right in here. I'm shooting good all day. Shooting good all day, time to end it on a good one. Yep. Oh, I didn't roll my dial. <laughs> didn't move your no. sight? <laughs> Dude, I was like, what? What happened? <laughs> ah. Woo! A little low. I want to shoot one more. You got yeah, one more. Oh, same exact spot. It's just got to be where the bow's holding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice shot. Nice shot. All right, last target, 15. RMEF course, little mini elk at 49. Everyone's been shooting freaking awesome on this course, like really well, especially Alan with a bow. That's not his. <laughs> not mine. New release, just opened it last night. New yep. arrows. Alan, New arrows. <laughs> Alan shooting my VTM. Grab my bow, let's go shooting. So he's been shooting awesome with it too, so that's cool. Here we go.